to Rich Reflections, where we take a look at the upcoming Sunday Gospel reading and see how it applies to our lives today. Well, this is the second Sunday of Lent, and we get an amazing Gospel reading. This is the Transfiguration, where before the eyes of three of the apostles, Jesus is going to be transfigured. The, the Lord, our God, the Father in heaven himself, is going to speak. And when this happens, uh, of course, God says, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Here's the thing. When the apostles heard this, those three apostles, they fell prostrate. And it says they were afraid. So what does that mean? Are we supposed to be afraid of the Lord? Are we supposed to be afraid of our Father in heaven? Well, of course not. This fear is what we talk about when we talk about the fear of the Lord. I don't know if you've ever heard the Lord's voice. Maybe you have and maybe you haven't. But there is a sense of awe and wonder, something that we have never heard before when God himself speaks. We actually see this in the Old Testament with the Israelites when God speaks to them and they can't take it and they say, Moses, you, you listen to God and then you tell us what he says. Because when we hear the true voice of God, it's like nothing we've ever heard before. It makes time stand still. It makes everything else seem unimportant. And if we're honest, we don't get a lot of that in our lives. And so when we're before the Lord, when we're before God, we have this fear of not the Lord, but really it's the fear of everything else that we're letting go to be close to the Lord. So the next time you really want to hear God's voice, shut everything out and ask him to speak. And remember, Jesus is still there because at the end of this reading, Jesus tells them to not be afraid. So let us take heart. Let us take courage. We are not a people of fear. In fact, 365 times in the scriptures it says, do not be afraid. One for every day of the year. There's one for today. Do not be afraid, but let us listen to the voice of our Father. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next time on Rick's Reflections.